First new developments in a deadly shooting. The man accused of shooting and killing Richard Arenas changed his plea today and was sentenced. Police say Judy R. Dixon opened fire and killed a man who was not the intended target. New at 6, we're hearing how his death has impacted the victim's family. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Planner joins us now live outside Providence Superior Court. Mike Kelly, good evening. A life sentence plus 20 years eligibility after 20 years of that life sentence, and we are told the victim's family signed off on this deal. Richard Arenas's daughter, Maybelline, could only get out a few words before handing off to the prosecutor a packed gallery in this Providence courtroom of broken people, family and friends. 20 year old Judier Dixon pleading guilty to murdering Richard Arenas, 46, in June 2013. No reason to shoot him, as Arenas worked on a car with his nephew in Mount Pleasant. He hears several popping sounds. He comes outside to find his uncle lying on the driveway, unresponsive. Those sirens as if on cue, just as Robert Krause is as no-nonsense as they come. He asked Dixon if he understood the prosecutor's recitation of facts and did not like the answer. Did you hear what Mr. Clinton just told me? Yes or no? Yes. Did you in fact shoot and murder Richard Yes. Reeves? Dixon later turned to the gallery and very softly admitted what he had done, said he didn't expect anyone to forgive him, and added he knows what a broken home feels like. And Judier Dixon had actually fled to Alabama following the murder. U.S. Marshals had to capture him down there. He also pleaded guilty today to an unrelated Providence shooting back in 2012. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom tonight outside Superior Court, I'm Jared Plutter, Eyewitness News.